You don't know? When my dear Hawan was training, he bought a barehanded. Oh god, he's Takamura. <laughs> he's Takamura from Ippo. <laughs> he bought a bear with his bare hands. Oh, uh, like, yeah, he's. Okay, well, now we know how Takamura dies in Ippo. Uh, spoilers, I guess. He refused to give in and let the bear win. But after the fight, they became. And yeah, well, they didn't exactly become friends in Ippo, I guess, so maybe. maybe maybe like related to Takamura. Wow, what a heartwarming story. Look, it's just like those young people's dramas. I can see you two uh, these two tuckered out down by the river going, "Huh. You sure can fight. You too, bub. You too." Did all that really happen? It's in his biography, dub. Dub bub wub. What a load of crock. So ever since then, fans have been giving him bears as a present. Yeah, nice. Bears. I'm Uncle Bear, and I say it's barely 8 o'clock. What is that infernal racket? It's one of the presents going off. Sounds like it's already 8 p.m., way past your bedtime. Uh, that startled me. I thought I was gonna die for a second. 8 p.m. That's the time when the award ceremony ended that night, remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. The transceiver. Oh shit. H hello, hello. This is not a phone. Wait, Maya. Oh yeah, Maya. How's Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Wright. I have heard the news. So it would seem my present did not it did you no good. No, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. One more day, please. All I ask for is one more day. I- I'll get a not guilty verdict for sure this time, please. I suppose if I must. I need that acquittal more than anything else, after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I wanna hear if she's alright. Alright. Then, hiss. A little. What was with the static all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems... Bad. Connect. Damn it, did the transceiver suddenly break? Excuse me. What happened? I don't know, all of a sudden it became nothing but static. Ah, uh, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya! Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better. Hmm, and Old Bag just, eh, I could care less. Thanks, Old Bag. Uh, I don't want to talk to you that much, but let's just go through this. Do you remember this guy? Don't have anything to say about delinquents like you. Ah, uh, she's clamming up like the old clam she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? God, no. Nope, that's okay, really. She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. Alright, let's just ask about... Yeah, I'm just gonna ask about, uh, Andrews, honestly. Really? That's... okay then. That's lovely. Uh, let's just get out of here then. Uh, I think that's everything. Unless this... wait a minute. Uh, just take a look at the court record real quick. Ba -ba Nothing. I don't think there's anything I want to talk to you about. Is there... uh... Knife. Picture card. Uh, no, I don't think you know anything about it. Um. Uh, why not? Let's get out of here. I don't want to talk to you anymore, honestly. Can I go sneak into Vengarde's room? No, I can't. Okay. Um. Where do I want to head to next then? I've, I'm pretty much done here. Uh, I can go to the Criminal Affairs Department. I can go back to Wright and Cole offices. Uh, if I go to Wright and Cole offices, I'll get a couple more places I can go. I've already explored the living room. I don't think I need to go back there right now. I will check in a bit, though. Wright and Cole offices. Hey, welcome back, Val. I thought I'd make you a little something for dinner. Oh, wait. Th that's nice. Thanks. 
It's a rich man's luxurious full course meal. Out of a can, that is. I'm sorry you went through all the trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oh, hey, you don't have a can opener here, pal. You've gotta be kidding. And I thought he had already whipped up something. Oh, I know. There's one way to be <laughs> there's one way I know how to be helpful. Ask me anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's here and offering, I wonder if I should try asking him about something. Uh, do I want to talk to you about anything? All I got right now is broken transceiver thing that's dying. I have. What? What am I asking you about? A car? <laughs> Just go through everything. You want to fix my transceiver? You know, maybe maybe you can fix my transceiver. Uh. Ask him about something. Uh, uh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Maybe the broken transceiver might be it. I don't know. See if he can fix it. Maybe he knows. Maybe he, he has a secret skill in this. No. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No. Maybe. Fuck it. Let's just. I uh, don't know. You fix the transceiver. The transceiver? Oh, Mr. Nick. You should ask Mr. Scrubby Detective about that thing. What thing? Oh, yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It it broke, pal. When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounded like this. And it's fixed. Well then. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Maybe it fixed itself. That's strange. I'm sure it was making a lot of static noises. Huh. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic magnetic interference. Wait, this is actually leading to something? Oh god. If I was being really dumb today, I would not have found that, and it would have been like 30 minutes of me just wandering around like, What do I do? Uh, so what is electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, for example, when a cell phone goes off next to a computer screen. The stuff on the screen kind of gets fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Computer? Uh, it's like when you use the dryer next to a TV and the screen starts looking weird. Oh. Yes, the TV does do that. Huh, so that's what you're talking about. She's amazingly happy to be able to understand this. So the room you were in when that interference... Wait, so the room you were in when that interference to the transceiver happened. Well, it's gotta be something that's sending out very strong radio waves, Val. Wait, in his room? Huh. Something like, huh. Like a listening device or something. Ah. Oh. Hey, speaking of that, where were you when it happened? We were in Mr. Karita's room. The scene of the murder. What? That's it. I'm gonna sneak into the precinct and get the bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, pal. Alright? Oh, uh, wait. Gumshoe. Oh, yeah, baby. It's investigating time. Um, <laughs> he just went from, like... He just went from, like, no mess to, like... He's at full mess right now. <laughs> he got so excited from that. <laughs> Come shoot, let's calm down a little bit. Uh, you just zeroed to 100 real fast. I'm a fire pal, my fingers are itching to go. Yeah. God, Gumshoe, that's... Okay, now we now we know that uh, Gumshoe has withdrawal symptoms from investigating. Oh, God. Oh, that's, uh, that's interesting. We should get going to Nick. Alright, let's go. Just let, uh, let him sneak in by himself this time. Last time, uh... We, we snuck into the offices, well it wasn't these offices, but the other offices with Gumshoe. It didn't go so well the first game at least. Uh, let's go back to the hotel then. Let's go see if we can find uh, listening devices, I suppose. Um, 
Animal Hall. So many places I can go. I like I I gotta look for a minute and just be like, which one am I going to? Go to the hotel. Ugh, hotel. And let's go into Karita's room. Okay. Hey, you're finally here, pal. How did you get here? So sorry to keep you waiting. Do you have the uh, bug sweeper? Uh, well, you see. Oh, God damn it. That's why you're here. I got busted trying to sneak in, pal. Then suddenly I'm staring at the precinct doors. From the outside, I mean. So, yeah, I couldn't get one of the police bug sleepers. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item. Hey, hey, calm down, pal. I didn't say I didn't get one. Just not the police's. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks a little broken. Hey, this was made when I was in elementary school, pal. Oh, by who? Me, of course. Ah, seeing this sure brings back memories. Hey, don't look down on it, pal. Sure, it looks a little run down. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Your heart and soul? It'll work. Trust me, pal. I'll do the job. But... But... But you can't set the, sens the sensitivity, so it's going to beep at anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? <laughs> well, anyway, I brought it all this way. Might as well give it a whirl, right, pal? I'm getting that sinking feeling again. Okay, now I'll tell you how to use this baby. This is a listening device or some uh, other sort of bug hidden in this room, pal. Wait, is this gonna be like some really weird thing? Kind of like, um the first game with the final case in the first game where like there's all this stuff where I had to blow on stuff and st oh god is it gonna be one of those things there's a listening device or some other sort of bug hidden in this room pal so we're gonna find it right right now first let's turn the sweeper on next touch the sweeper and take a good look around the room with the bell you can see uh you can see how strong radio waves are and check an area by uh and are in an area by looking at the check gauge. Once you find something that's giving out strong waves, the gauge will change. When that happens, touch the gauge, or the gauge, gauge, whatever, to really give the thing a long, hard stare. There's a lot of things here that, uh, there's a lot of things here that's going to give off radio waves. So let's take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious, okay, pal? All right, I'm gonna go stand outside and keep an eye out. Give me a yell if you find the bug, got it, pal? Oh, God, it's... Okay, that's just... Oh, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, that's just normal. What is that? Oh, TV. TV, okay. Okay, that. Yeah, lights just sound like that. Okay. Maybe it's in one of the presents. That's what I'm thinking. Let's move you. Is that like a remote? I guess. Whoa! Hold up a minute. What's going on here? That's really annoying. Ah, what a lovely bear. Oh, oh god, okay, that's what it was. Haha! <laughs> ah. This must be one of those fancy bear-shaped toy robots. It's a robot? It's a real robot? Yeah, it's a real one. Mr. Nick! Yes? How many horsepowers is it? How many horsies? Horsies? Uh, well, looks like it's a bear, so, uh... Okay, that's really annoying. That's really annoying. Oh, God. But it does let you know. Ah! Uh, 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 what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, please, make it stop. Don't hurt me no more. Whoa, what? Something going on up here. Okay, let's, yeah, yeah, let's check that, let's check that. This is, this is just a giant stuffed teddy bear, right? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Hey, so did you guys find it yet? The listening device, I mean. No, not yet, but this bear's eye is. Let's see, let's see. 
perfectly normal stuff there with some really strong radio waves. Sounds like you find the device to me, Val. Let's dig this big spell's eye out and see what we've got. Find out it's a real bear and you just dug the bear's eye out. No, you can't. Such a violent act. Oh, rip. <laughs> Gumshoe just starts demolishing the bear in front of Pearl. She's scarred for life now. No! No, not the poor bear! That's... It's a miniature camera, and it looks like there's more. There's a transmitter and a timer. A what how what how how what? A transmitter, pal. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Come on. Come on. Oh, is this more of that high-tech stuff? Alright, let's talk. What we got? The first camera, I guess. So this tiny thing is a camera. Yep, it's a pinhole CCD camera, pal. It's a small, high-grade video camera and mostly used in security systems. So it's a video camera. It runs on a battery, which comes with it in a set. But there's no videotape within this camera. This is only the camera part here, pal. The tape recorder with the tape inside it is somewhere else. Somewhere else. The footage is changed into radio waves and then it's sent to the recorder. So, it's sort of like a TV broadcast, isn't it? Hey, you know, you're right! Spy camera, okay. So, what is the transmitter? It's the device that sends footage to the camera to, uh, the camera took to a specific destination. It's like a video version of a listening device, pal. It looks like it's attached to a small clock-like thing. Oh, that's a timer, pal. You can set it to turn the camera on and record at a certain time with it. You can set it to a certain time? Yep. Let's see, this looks like it was set to start at 8 p.m. and go for one hour. 8 p.m.? That was the time the award ceremony ended. There's no date set, so it's been recording every night, I guess. Mr. Detective, how long has this bear been here? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's been here since the night of the murder. Then, then maybe... Maybe this camera caught the murder on tape. What? And, and if you think about the angle the bear is at, it's bound to have a clear shot of the whole crime, pal. Hmm. Interesting. So there was a camera in the bear's eye, and it was disguised as a present. And I'm sure it was here on the night of the murder, pal. It's pretty big, so it stands out pretty well in my mind. But, who gave Mr. Karita this present? I, uh, don't know yet, pal. But, this means that someone out there has got a video of what happened here that night. Isn't there any way we can find out who this person is? It's impossible, pal. Radio waves can be sent almost anywhere, so there's no real way to find out. Oh. Is there really no way to find out? I got it. What? Hey, pal, let me borrow this mini camera for a bit. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go around uh, to the electric electronic shops and see if I can find out who bought this. But that's impossible, I mean, it's already 9 p.m. Leave it to me, even if I have to search all night, I'll find your man, pal. No, I meant that all the shops closed after 9. Oh yeah, baby, it's an investigating time. God damn it. Yes, yes, I know, you're at full mast. I'm fine, fine, mate. Yeah, whoa. Investigating. He's gone. Yeah. But Mr. Scruffy Detective sure is a nice man. He's pushing himself so hard, all for Mystic Maya's sake. You always manage to do things the most ineffective ways. Ha. Huh. You'll have to excuse me. I heard your conversation just now. Uh, Edgeworth, what are you doing here? A rescue team has been decreated and deployed. I can't say I'm optimistic, but we have to move forward, one step at a time. Uh, I see, thanks. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find her. Huh, so there's a spy camera hidden inside the stuffed animal, huh? You are one, <laughs> you are one lucky man, right? Do you know the stuffed bear, little girl? Uh, I have no idea. Huh, of course not. The maker of this bear is a very expensive luxury brand from overseas. It's completely handmade and there are very few that are exported here. What? 
The camera and the transmitter that Scarebrain Detective took with them are dead ends. Things like those can be bought anywhere. However, this bear is different. By tracking how it got into this country, this bear can tell us who the buyer is. Can you really do that, Mr. Nick? Can he really? Well, I guess so. Huh. It's 9pm. I think I can still make it in time. I'll be taking this for now. Wait, is just like, is Edgeworth just picking up the giant bear? I just like to imagine like Edgeworth grabbing the giant bear and just leaving with it. And just like walking down the street. It's just Edgeworth, he's got that look on his face and he's just carrying this giant bear. That'd be amazing. I'm sure you have other things to, that you have to do. Stop bear snatch up by head. He really is. See you soon, right? He's just, uh, I'm gonna take this with me. Uh, hold on a second. What? Why are you doing this? I have no interest in explaining myself to someone who cannot comprehend. And besides that, right? And court reconvenes, uh, until court reconvenes tomorrow, you, sh you should concern yourself with this question. Who is the person that murdered Juan Carita? The real killer. Do you really think it was all Adrian Andrews? To be honest, I don't know anymore. You still have a little time left. Find the truth, right? Everything begins with the truth. Juan Carita's real killer. Miss Andrews passed. The kidnapper whose sole condition is an acquittal for Mr. Angarde. And this card. Shelley the killer. Maya. The only way I can save you now is to find all the answers to the case tonight. I don't understand what your real intentions are, Edgeworth. But as you said, all I can do for now is find the truth. Might as well save. Oh, we're continuing on the investigation. Hmm.